I've been too focused on my Hillary Clinton slogans to do <laughs> What this. are they? The first one I came up with, which I've already shared with The Hollywood Reporter, was blondes have more foreign policy experience. They're, they have some shirts that say pants suit up, which is pretty good. say what makes it unique working at HBO is honestly having the creative freedom that I feel that we have. We're sort of left to our own devices. They hire you to do something and then they let you do it. On Game of Thrones, Dan and David, they'd never done television before. And they <laughs> go in and you could call it crazy, but, but they, they gave them this show. So I just love working with them because I don't feel like it's when I've worked on network shows or even studio movies where you feel massive pressure to take notes or do the things that they want to do. HBO really doesn't do that. We take a lot of pride in creating an environment for talent where they feel very well taken care of, very well supported on all levels of the company. Literally every note I've ever gotten from HBO has been thoughtful and one that I've actually wanted to listen to and one that's actually made the show better. What was the first tagline for HBO? I was trying to think of that. I remember it was like... Was there a first yeah, one? Yeah, like in the 80s or whatever. I guess you could say, it's not TV, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. I like it. I think it's hearing passion. I want to feel that this is the show, this is the script. They have to do or they're not going to be able to get it out of their system. What, what we say over and over again is the auteur breathing what they're bringing in. To me, you can see that a mile away. In this past season of Veep, we sort of, in a sense, you could say, we threw out the concept completely. My character, Selena Meyer, was vice president and then she became president. And the whole notion of sort of just like, all right, well, let's just toss it out and try this angle. And they were completely supportive of that idea. First season, we had some like semen flying across the screen and they were like, guys, you know, like we'll let you have the semen on the body, but this feels like a lot. I called Mike Lombardo and I was like, listen, I feel really strongly. And he was like, but do you? And I was like, no, you're right. <laughs> you're like I 100%, right, <laughs> I was like, I'm not, this is not the hill I'm going to die on. And you're right. But then season two, we had more semen that was flying through the air, and they were like, no, we like it now. Now it works now with it the works. story. Yes, we're talking about sailors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sailor, bunch of fleet.